So aluminium can react with alkalis as well as with acids. Balance the equation for the reaction between sodium hydroxide solution and aluminium. So here's our equation that we have to balance. So first we start by balancing the OH. We've got one OH here and then another OH in here, but we've got four. So we've got OH, OH, and four OH. So we need to multiply this by two. Okay, so here we go. We have it by three because we also need to account for the hydrogen gas. So basically we are balancing first for sodium, that's fine. Then aluminium, that's fine again. And then we've got one, four oxygens here. We've got one oxygen here. So we multiply this one by three to get four oxygens on the left-hand side. Okay, so now we have four oxygens on this side. Then we just have to balance for the hydrogen. So there are one plus six is seven hydrogens on this side. And we've got four hydrogens on this side and we need another three hydrogens to come from here. So we just multiply by three on two. So we have three hydrogens here, four hydrogens here, seven hydrogens on the left, all right, seven hydrogens on the right, everything's balanced. So question B, how could you be sure that the bubbles produced during this reaction were bubbles of hydrogen? We could use one test, which is the pop test. So you take the, you collect the gas, you get a match, put it underneath the test tube, and you should hear a big pop sound, which is the hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen. So that's how you know that it's hydrogen by using the pop test.